Will Kane is here, Fox and Friends weekend co-host in focus now. Will, I can only imagine what you have to say about this, but the Wall Street Journal takes it on and basically makes the case that this is going to undermine all these alleged efforts by Congress to bring prices down for the American people, writing this. Student loan forgiveness is an inflation expansion act, but if he does forgive student debt, it will expose the hollowness of the Democrats' anti-inflation posturing. The party these days is about spending ever more money without restraint, except for defense. Well, it is that simple. Spending is what has gotten us here, and spending more will make matters worse. To you now. Yes, and, and so the word, the operative word that you just used, Sandra, was alleged when referring to the Inflation Reduction Act. This should do away with the concept that it was an Inflation Reduction Act. That was simply a fraud. That was mislabeling. That was bait and switch. That would have been outlawed. That is outlawed in most consumer transactions. It was never the purpose of that act to be reduction in inflation. In fact, we knew because just days later, Sandra, you know, almost every single media institution began to parrot the lines of the administration that it's actually a climate change bill. But look, we don't have to peer into their language use. Now we just look at their motivations because this bill, this proposed bill, would, as everyone recognizes, extend hyperinflate inflation just showing that the motivations were never to actually help average Americans out there with the cost of groceries. It is to play to a constituency. And that constituency, in your lead-in, Sandra, what's fascinating to me, what really stood out, was that report for that statement from the NAACP. And, and so the NAACP is recognizing, hey, this hurts the average black voter, and truthfully, it hurts the average American, meaning the, the blue-collar American, the non-college graduate American who will pay for this bill. And so what's the constituency? I ask you. It, it increasingly looks like some type of elite or aspirational elite, largely white, college-educated, uh, liberal voter who wants their relief, who wants their support from the government bureaucracy. Mm. Uh, it's hard to digest this. We can put it up on the screen. College costs real versus adjusted for inflation. And you just see these prices continually going higher. So, Will, if you do fall in the category in this country, if somebody who's happy to have your debt waived uh, and paid for uh, by other Americans, you're going to have to deal with this sooner or later, whether it's your children or your grandchildren. What does this do to address those Gosh. soaring costs? Why aren't we talking about that? Look at that chart. That, that, is, that is actually stunning. And by the way, so Sandra, nothing I just said should be read as someone who thinks that what's going on in college with cost, and by the way, the return on investment of a college degree, is acceptable, that it's just, that it's appropriate market forces. It's most certainly not. And it's a basic uh, law of economics that we should have understood by now. If the government subsidizes something and makes payment responsible for a third party, meaning the consumer and the seller aren't actually the true transaction there, you get rising costs. Healthcare, yeah. the exact same thing as college education, and it's hyperinflationary, just like just like education. So the, the and so the appropriate. I, I've struggled with this, Sandra. What's the metaphor for for giving college debt? It would be like someone who is addicted to heroin, who is going through horrendous withdrawals. And there's a certain person in the room who says, well, only thing we can do to do away with these withdrawals is give them another bump of heroin. Mm. So this bill would only serve to hurt the long-term equation, yeah. which is it would rise the cost of college because once again. Then the forgiveness this is a $10,000 bump to bigger universities. And bigger and bigger, to your point. And not only that, these far-left uh, Democrats, some of these progressives, they, this isn't even enough for them. Congresswoman uh, Cori Bush right. tweeted out this. Student debt is a nearly $2 trillion crisis. POTUS must cancel student debt, all of it. And Senator Bernie Sanders will. Uh, his staff tweeted this out. Republicans will attack for giving $10,000 in means-tested student debt as ferociously as if Biden canceled all student debt. Think big or go home, says his staff. Cancel <laughs> all of it, Will. To your point, where does this yeah. end? Final thought.
Well, it never ends because what do you do for the next generation, right? What, what about the next people that take on college debt? Do they get 10? It's a little bit like illegal immigration. You know, do you just continue to give out um, to give out dreamer status and pathway to citizenship status to every wave of illegal immigrant? Do you give $10,000 in grants or for debt forgiveness to every generation of college student? You know, you can't. And it's, it's just going to what I, the point we're making is college prices will actually continue to go up, to continue to be hyperinflationary because of these policies. Yeah. And then last point, Sandra, and it's, it's, it's not a hand-waving point, it's important. Culturally, what do you say to blue-collar people that didn't go to college and now they have to shoulder the tax burden for this? This. What do you say to all the people that actually paid off their college debt? That, that you're a rube? That you were stupid to pay off your debt because, look, just wait for the government to come along to forgive it? I mean, this is a real a cancerous idea to our culture. And we will see where the president ultimately goes from this when we hear from him potentially later today. Will, thank you very much and great to see you. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.